Hi guys, welcome back to another special episode of my channel Versatile Knowledge. In this video, I will be talking with you guys about what is pixels per inch. While seeing the specification of many smartphones or any tablet or any gadget as such, you might have observed this device has a screen inch of 5.5 with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 p with a pixels per inch of 400 ppi. You guys might be wondering what are these terms? You guys might be wondering what is a resolution? What is a pixel? What is pixels per inch then? I'm confused totally. In this video, I will be helping you guys out how to calculate what is a pixel per inch of your device. How much pixel per inch is a good PPI? Let's get started without any delay. So as I was talking with you guys in the introduction of this video, this is how to calculate the pixels per inch. First thing, what is pixels per inch? What is a pixel? Pixel is nothing but a pixel is nothing but a dot. A dot which has the capacity to reproduce or reframe an image and display it on your screen. That's a dot. Let me tell you an example. This is your smartphone screen. Let me think your smartphone is 5.5 inches screen. Your smartphone has a screen size of 5.5 inches. Do you know how this 5.5 inches will be calculated? The 5.5 inches is calculated along the diagonal. Always the screen sizes of smartphones are calculated only along the diagonal. Diagonally, your screen size is 5.5 inches. <coughs> While purchasing a smartphone, you might have read the specifications that your smartphone has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 P. This P stands for pixels. This is the resolutions. 1920 means 1920 pixels arranged along the height of your device and 1080 pixels arranged along the width of your device. These are the pixels which has a capacity to reproduce any image and playback on your screen. <coughs> so what is the height of the smartphone? This is the height of the smartphone. The taller end or the taller edge is the height of the smartphone or the smaller edge is the width of your smartphone. <coughs> this is the height, this is the width. So basically 1920 pixels are arranged like this and 1080 pixels are arranged like this. So per inch of this 5.5 inches per every single inch how many this is 1 inch, this is 2 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch, 5 inch, 5.5 inch. How many pixels are arranged per inch of this 5.5 inches device? That is the question. We have a formula. That formula stands for D0 is equal to square root of height square plus width square. <laughs> D0 is a notation and h square is the resolution or the number of pixels arranged along the height and the number of pixels plus w is the number of pixels arranged along the width now in order to calculate it for this calculation for this why i took this is this is <coughs> common along this is common among devices with full hd capacity full hd means 1920 by 1080 now let me calculate this one We have a scientific calculator in order to calculate this square root of what we need to do now is square root of 1920 square plus 1080 square. This is the thing. Now let me calculate 1920 square plus 1080 square. We got some number around 2002.2. 
zero seven two up to four decimal places we have taken. So this is the value of D naught. Now we have the second formula. This is the first formula. D naught is equal to square root of h square plus w square. We have the second formula. That is the final formula. PPI or the pixels per inch or pixel rate or pixel density. Pixel density or pixel rate or PPI or whatever. That is equal to D naught divided by D i. So you will be thinking, what is this D i? D i means the screen size along the diagonal. That's it. I means your device. D means screen size along the diagonal. We have already calculated that here. <coughs> so D i is equal to 5.5. For this is for my device. So 2202.9072. Divided by length or the size of my screen along the diagonal. This is di. Let me mention this. This is di. Let us calculate what will be the answer. Two two zero two. Point nine seven. Nine zero seven two divided by five point five. I'll get four hundred PPI. So this is the four hundred PPI, and this is for Redmi Note three. You can go and check the specifications. My device is Redmi Note three, and I am calculating the PPI for this device, Redmi Note three. Now let's uh, let's see another device. Uh, consider. Let us consider the devices of this this uh, generation. That is, uh, <coughs> let me consider a uh, devices having 18 is to 9 aspect ratio or 2 is to 1 aspect ratio. Those devices would be having an expanded view display or nearly bezel less display. Uh, general resolution would be 2160 by 1080p. So let us consider what would be the PPI for this devices. 2160 whole square plus. 1080p whole square. It is equal to <coughs> 2414. Let me directly do it. Divided by the screen inches, 5.9 inches, 409 ppi. 409 ppi. So this is for this was for actually Honor 9i. It was a recently released device with an 18 to 9 aspect ratio. That's why I took this example. So a device with 2160 by 1080p resolution with a screen size of 5.9 inches will have a PPI of 409 pixels per inch. That means 409 pixels would be arranged on every inches of that 5.9 inch display. 409, 409, 409, 409, 409, 409. This is almost a six-inch display. So this will become 409 pixels will be here, 409 here, 409 here, 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 here. So 409 pixels per every inch of this 5.9-inch device. This is the basic calculation of how to know about pixels per inch. Let me brief you guys. D naught is a formula which is equal to square root of height squared plus Width square height is the number of pixels or the number of or the resolution along the height of the device, and W is the resolution along along the width of this device. Uh, I'm having the Redmi Note three. I will be calculating for my device in this case. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p is the resolution. Nineteen twenty square plus ten eighty square. We have got a value this one, and my screen size was five point five inches. Uh, so I calculate. I divided this value with 5.5. The, uh, the formula was PPI is equal to D naught divided by D i, mm, and uh, <coughs> 2202.9072 divided by 5 naught 5.5. I have got it around 400 PPI. And uh, for another device like uh, example, I took Honor 9i. Uh, we got 409 PPI. More PPI doesn't necessarily be to be. A good resolution display, a good display with a PPI around a display with a PPI around 400 to 500, uh, <coughs> and having an AMOLED panel 
a panel with AMOLED or any IPS LCD covering them with a 2.5D glass with Gorilla Glass protection will give you a good, good viewing angles and a good visibility under good and under sunlight and under low light conditions and and all areas in real time this would be an ideal case uh, i would more prefer for amoled displays like on seen in the samsung's and a ppi around 400 to 500 uh, with a gorilla glass protection this would be an ideal for any smartphone screens as i tell as i as i mentioned again as i mentioned earlier more ppi doesn't necessarily mean to be good display in most of the cases devices with more ppi would be having better displays as well so uh, that's it for this video guys i will catch up with you guys in my next one please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos share subscribe okay, bye bye